Financial services is a huge sector of critical importance to both the UK and global economy. IBM has been working with British banking institutions to revolutionise how customers communicate with their banks through the use of AI and specifically the new generation of agentic AI. Three, one. If you think about the high street journey of a few decades ago, you went to the butcher and they had your order ready for you. You then went to the baker and they had your favourite loaf of bread. Then you went to the bank branch and the manager knew exactly what was going on with your life, what your financial goals were and what you were trying to achieve. Well, how does that translate into the modern digital world? Using the vast amounts of data and the power of AI, you can now give that individualised service to the customer so you can help them plan for exactly what's coming up in their life, what their wishes, what their goals. IBM has been working with British banking institutions to revolutionise how customers communicate with their banks through the use of AI. Banks using AI, or indeed things like machine learning, is not really new. And AI as a field is not new either, it's decades old. What is new is the increased interest, but what that gives us is a huge opportunity to use the experiences that we have over the last decades to really implement the technology in a thoughtful, responsible and transparent way to make sure that we're solving the problem for the customers and not just looking for a technology problem to solve. For financial services companies, remaining compliant is incredibly important, as is security. The sector is a major target for cyber attacks, and AI can help with that potential risk. AI is incredibly powerful and a great tool for us to be able to gather and make connections and data that it would either take too much time and effort of a human to be able to do, or it's simply too complex for us to understand. And using that in things like anti-money laundering and fraud detection means that actually we're really targeted in the way in which we can improve how we protect customers and their spending. Take a fraudster, for example, if you're an insurance business. If you've got the same ring of people constantly having the same crash with the same whiplash, going to the same garage with the same jacked up prices, well that is a scam which in aggregate you can see when you're analysing that vast amount of data with AI and actually that's what really is helping organisations be far fitter in their fight against those bad actors. AI also has a valuable role in developing financial products and services, making them more relevant by analysing data. This can help with responding to changing circumstances in a client's life. In a mortgage situation, typically first-time buyers don't know a lot of the language that's used when taking out a mortgage. Actually, AI can help them understand what loan-to-value means and these terms that we take for granted in the industry actually mean in the application of, of a product that is a very significant life decision for a first-time buyer. So breaking down those barriers means that you approach the conversation far more informed and you know what risks that represents and how you can make the right decision. Internally, AI is helping financial services companies go on a journey with their own staff. We often do a thought experiment with our clients and talk about what's a fully autonomous bank, where everything is automated, you have no people doing anything. Then you put people back in and you think about where the humanity is needed in any given process, because these are big decisions that, that customers are making. So that sort of thought experiment really helps organisations understand where you need the empathy, where the, you need the humanity, but indeed the automation then gives you the efficiency to be able to do that. Because of these sorts of thought experiments, we've been able to then track people like working in the contact centre, actually they're fantastically equipped to be the AI trainers of the future. They understand customer demand, they understand actually the question behind the question that a customer is asking. So if we can instantiate that knowledge into a, an AI, that's gonna be a really powerful mix. By embracing AI, long established, trusted high street names in the financial services sector are making a big leap forward. IBM works with strategically important banks across the UK and the wider global economy. It's super important that these banks are fit, 
they are competing well, and they are at the very, very frontier of what technology can offer their colleagues and their customers. We are really proud to partner with the world's biggest banks on that journey, and it's a fun journey, but it's deeply important to get it right, both from a regulatory perspective, but also from a customer expectation perspective. We're now seeing senior management of financial services companies being trained on how to deploy AI in increasingly sophisticated ways. Boardrooms understand that Agentic AI is enabling a great raft of opportunities for increased growth and productivity that cannot be ignored. Agentic AI doesn't require a degree in computer science, it's incredibly intuitive. And so, all that financial services companies need are directors prepared and inspired to adopt the new technology. In IBM's experience, that willingness is already there because the race for the competitive edge is on.